It is wonderful when you come across great understanding sales folks, right? Some of the prospective vendors and partners who you meet with or have a call with or WebEx or Zoom session or whatever else software solution you may use, and they understand where you are. They have deep understanding of your industry, of the dynamics, of budgeting cycles and processes, of the list of competing priorities, and they're not trying to push you and force you into scheduling three other follow-up meetings or calls or on-prem demo and asking you to invite other people from different areas to be at that table. It is very nice to have someone who schedules 30 minutes with you through a web session and gets their points and the value of their software, of their solution across in 15. And then we spend five, six minutes after that answering certain questions and clarifying priorities. And they're very mindful and leave that conversation open-ended. They're not trying to force you into a deal. They're not trying to overwhelm you with millions of requests and emails and follow-up sessions. I, at times, try to batch my calls and demos uh, with the prospective vendors, kind of group them together into a half a day or sometimes the entire day. Today is one of those days. I've had four calls um, so far, and I have another two or three to go this afternoon. But it was wonderful to come across people, and I will not share names of individuals or companies which because that's a, a practice that I tend to follow for a lot of reasons, and it's mostly – because I don't know how comfortable they would feel um, and their organizations would feel. So I try not to share names of people or companies ever in any of my videos. But it was wonderful. It was so refreshing to talk to someone who understands the challenges that and opportunities that we all wrestle with, who comes and politely, professionally, efficiently explains the value of their product, of their software, of their solution shares the pricing structure, follows up quickly with references that are relevant to you, whether they're in the same state, same type of organization, same industry, same region, right? And then just says, you know, leaves it open-ended for you to reach out to them when that solution makes it to the front page of your never-ending list of priorities and projects. I just want to take a moment to say that most salespeople are not bad people. Most people are not bad people. It's just that they're pressured in the by the confines of their own positions and incentive structure to perhaps follow up and nudge a bit more than they should and perhaps deliver that message in less than effective ways. But every once in a while, you'll come across people who are absolute professionals and experts in building relationships, and they know how to get their value and their point across without overwhelming you, and most importantly, without annoying you or your team. I just wanna leave that out there and say that it was really wonderful to speak with two individuals this morning who were true professionals in the craft that they perform. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. If this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. And as always, and most importantly, leave your thoughts below. Leave your comments below on the topic of sales and knowing how to sell and build relationships that I just covered. Have a great day.